Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Weiss, and today we're going to continue our conversation on life languages. If you haven't watched all the other ones, please do. Today, we're going to focus on responder. This is a very important language that you or someone you know, it might be their primary or secondary language. So you want to watch this and also watch all the others. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please do. We have hundreds of uh, segments that can help you in your life, your marriage, and, and figure things out. So subscribe, hit that button. If you have a question, ask that and stay tuned. Welcome back. Today I have Anna Kendall and her and her husband Fred have developed the Life Languages. We also have Gerald Parsons, the CEO of Life Languages. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Today, let's talk about the responder. Responders are beautiful. They're wonderful. They're maybe one of the most important life languages because they care so deeply. And we believe that this is a hurting world. And so we need people who care, who want to help make your pain go away. And that's what responders want to do. This is the second emotive language. The first one, these are people who feel first. The first was the influencer who feels and then thinks. And this is the responder who feels, just really feels. Mm -hmm. Right, the responder is interesting because um, it's also the number one uh, most frequently uh, spoken language. As a first yeah, language. As a first language. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's the sweet people. God, God made them all sweet and we put a lot of responders on this earth. And so they're very passionate, very compassionate people. And they, they love to be one-on-one. -on -one. You don't mm. really see responders building networks or things mm. like that, but they're very one-on-one. They're very -on -one. That's, kind of, that's how they engage and stay energized. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are compassionate. They are very uh, caring. They want to help people. Uh, they have a passion for life, a passion mm. for people. But the interesting thing is, it's not a wimpy language. You know, when you start talking about it, people think, oh, that's women. No, there are as many men as number one responders as there mm. are women. And often the wives rate those men as very, very good husbands and great lovers mm -hmm. because of their sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So men will say, well, I'm pretty high in responder now that you mentioned that. <laughs> you know? so, yeah. I found myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's my first language. Right. <laughs> so, Interestingly enough, because of the deep caring, compassionate drive that they have, we found that most professional athletes are first language responders. Especially Isn't it NFL though? Quarterbacks. Mm. Yes. It's like that passion energizes them mm. and they run down the field with that ball. Now mm. movers can be there too, but and theirs is just the strength of their personality mm. that energizes them. But you know, emotions energize us for mm. good or absolutely, for bad. Absolutely. So responders have that high emotional mm. energy and they do care. They make wonderful parents mm. because they're the come here, let me give you a hug mm. kind of parents that all kids, especially young children, need. Mm. As a matter of fact, doers and responders make good parents because doers will do what's necessary mm. and responders will care so deeply. Yeah, That's and like good. Anna said, we speak we speak responder no matter where it falls on sure. your on we're, your. Uh, we're all responders at some yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. Point. Yes, and you can call that up, and that's <clears> one <throat> of the things that we do in our methodology when we teach this into uh, families and couples and companies and all churches and such. Is we teach them how to pull that lower language up when mm -hmm. they need it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you'll see on our on our graph that there's numbers. Anything that's above 50 is kind of an on-demand language. Mm. That's natural for you. But what's not natural are some of the lower languages. And my, my last language happens to be responder. And so I work very hard to open up conversations mm. with something personal. Mm -hmm. So if I'm talking to <coughs> Dr. Doug, I might say, hey, how was your weekend? But knowing mm -hmm. that you're a movie, that be mover, that would probably be the only question I would ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like in board meetings, if if a, the person holding the meeting will say, before we get started, how's everybody doing? Are we doing okay? Letting them know, because mm. what responders want to know is, do you really care? Mm. I don't care how much you know till I know how much you care. Mm. And if you care for me, I'll, I'll lay my say, life yeah, down. You said that fast, Anna. Okay. I think what you just said is really important. They say, I don't care how much you know till I know how much you care. Okay, now talk to me as a husband or a wife. Okay. Come if, home from the day. Yes. Okay, either, um, either way. Yes. 
let's say you're a responder. Mm -hmm. You come home for the day, and I have had a really tough day, and I'd like to tell you about mm -hmm. it, but you're a first language responder. Mm -hmm. So instead I say, honey, why don't you come in and sit down, and let's just sit here for a minute. How was your day? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to share with me? Let's have mm -hmm. a cup of coffee and talk. Mm -hmm. And you sit and you're together. Mm -hmm. They love that togetherness. Mm -hmm. They love that affection. That They're the ones mm -hmm. that in talking to man or woman, mm -hmm. they'll reach out and touch. Right. <clears throat> Excuse mm -hmm. me. So they love that, that affection. And so when they know you really care, mm -hmm. then they will do all that they can to please and protect mm -hmm. you. And their desire is to please and protect. Mm. Isn't that okay. interesting? Yeah, so, but also like what I'm learning as we talk about these uh, life languages is that what someone kind of puts out there, Yes. they also need. That's right. Okay. And that so, is right. So if you're married to a woman who's a responder and she's caring for everybody all day, mm -hmm. she really needs you to care about her. That's right. And say, I care about you. What, what's your, where's your heart today? What mm -hmm. happened today? Exactly. You know, and, Sit down and, then, and tell then me. Then you can get into the functional stuff and other stuff. That's but, right. So your first move, if you're married to a responder, mm -hmm. is to move into them. That's right. And then if you do that, it'll reciprocate back. Absolutely back. And if you're letting that spouse know that you really care, then they're going to want to know more about you. <coughs> Excuse me. to a responder if you don't let them know. See, mm -hmm. I'm a psychologist, right? Yeah. So I deal with marriages, and this is part of why we're doing mm -hmm. this. This is why we're connecting with life languages, is because there's real pain in marriages when we yes. miss each other. In the first segment, we talked about how we can miss each other. Mm -hmm. So you might be a doer or a mover or whatever, but you don't really show that you care to this responder year after year. They can get toxic. Okay. They can get emotionally damaged mm. because they're, that is a tremendous need mm. and it's not getting met. And the person to meet that need is the spouse, be it man or woman, mm. that's the person that needs to meet that need. Mm. and. We, but, but to be honest, Anna, a lot of our people watching this, they don't know what they need. That's right. Okay. That's, that's right. That's why we're doing this. <clears throat> okay. So that they can fill out the 115 questions, you know, go to the website there, do yes. that. And they can find out who they are and what they may need. Because sometimes it's not the spouse that can't figure out what they need. Mm -hmm. It's me that can't yes, figure out Yes, I don't know what either. That's right. And if I don't know what I need, I'm going to frustrate the marriage. You know, because I'm expecting you to magically, A, yeah. find out what I need, which I haven't been able to find out for 50 years. Yes. And now meet my need that I haven't been able to find out what it is for 50 years. And that's like, you know, asking your spouse to be a magician. Uh, be a mind reader. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's, we profiled this woman and she, she came out responder doer. And responder is the most transparent language. In other words, whatever the second language is, responder can allow that language to shine through. And therefore, you don't always know who the responders are mm -hmm. unless there's quite a difference between the first and second language. Anyway, everybody in her family saw her as a doer. And they bought this house and they refinished it. And her husband was home and they, you know, and they were doing the floors and the walls. And we said, Cheryl, your first language is responder. That means you like hugs and you're warm and you're sensitive and nurturing. And the whole family looked at her and said, well, none of us treat her that way. They treated oh, her like wow. she was a doer. And we said, would you like to be treated that way? She said, yes, I would. So mm. we saw her a few months later and she said, I've never had so many hugs. She oh. said, the family has really responded to right. me. And she said, I feel like I am becoming who I was meant to be. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? And I, want, I want all of you to have those experiences. And to do that, you're gonna have to, you know, take, take the survey, do mm. this. But you may be in a situation where you don't know what you are, and so you don't know what you need, and no one can meet the need because they don't know what it is either. Mm -hmm. And what I like about life languages is it actually gives you language, something you can read, it's like 15, 20 pages. You can look at, you can read, your spouse can read, or even your family members can look yes. at it and go, oh, we didn't know that. And we do love you, so we mm -hmm. wanna love you in the way you can receive love. So please, you know, go to the website on the page, take this and get involved in this because it really can change your life. So if you haven't subscribed, you know to do that, click the button, that way it'll notify you for the next one that comes out. And also, uh, if you have a question, please ask that. And until we see you again, have an awesome day.